Hi everyone, welcome to December. It's time for the holiday season officially for all of the Grinches in the world who only celebrate Christmas in December. And all the people who celebrate it earlier have been enjoying the Christmas season for longer. So who is the winner here and who is the loser? That song is for my husband. It's officially time to start advent calendars. Flynn is at the store with my mom right now, so we'll do his when he gets home. However, we can start the kitty cat advent calendar right now. Lovey, do you want to know what advent calendar I got for you? What? I got you an advent calendar. That's what I got what? for you. <laughs> He's so mad. Really? That's what you got me? Love, all the other ones were just chocolate. The ones that were like whiskey or whatever wouldn't get here till like next year. That's the one you got me? This is what I got you? Yeah, look, Gus is so excited. He loves, you love the cats. You love the cats. I got us this one to share together for romance. But it's 12 days, so we can't start this one yet. Hot cocoa. Yeah, that's cute, right? Trying a new one every night together for yeah. date night? So that's what I got for us. And then I have makeup ones that people sent me, and Flynn has a truck one. And you got the cat food. Is this truck one 12 days or 24? It's 24, it starts today. You don't want to stay for the cat food one? Oh, you do the honors. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is like fancy. Ta-da. Look at how cute the like, doors open. Come on, they got the best one. I don't know where Daisy is, but Gus is here and he's ready. Door number one. What kind of cat food did we get today? Gravy lovers, ocean whitefish and tuna feast in sauteed seafood and flavor gravy. Sorry, the vacuum's going right now. <laughs> See if he likes it, day one. Gross. Gus. I think Gus, oh my gosh, he's not even gonna wait for me to put it on a plate. Gus, he loves Advent. Oh my gosh, Daisy is missing out today. Oh my God, he's going to town. Okay, so that's a success. Now I kind of feel like maybe I should go to the store and make Eric an Advent calendar because he doesn't like the cat food idea. Hmm. Flynn's back, it's Advent calendar time. Yeah, but it looks Eric. We gotta open it up. Oh. Opens like a book. Oh, do my number one. This is number one, okay? Uh -huh. Are you so excited? Yeah! <laughs> Advent calendar time. Advent calendar time. Okay, you gotta pull it open. What is it? A race Ooh, car. A race car. You did it. Now we open another one tomorrow. You're a silly guy, Flynn. I love you. Hello everyone. I'm not looking at the camera, don't worry. I am a safe driver. I'm not going to look at the camera at all. I pushed record before I started driving. So there's a lot of hilarious, awkward footage of me just pulling out of my driveway. Get alive! <gasps> what the f I hate driving but I'm being safe, don't worry. I'm currently driving to the park because that's where my husband is and that's where my son is. And I was pumping and they went to the park. Uh, we just spent a lot of time at the hospital with the babies. We spent like the whole day there. I breastfed them, Eric bottle fed them, we cuddled them, we did skin to skin. Ah! We did all the things. Um, we got home and Eric's like, I'm gonna take Flynn to the park while you're pumping. I was like, great. And my husband has a habit of cleaning the car, which he does, he cleans it out. But in the process, he takes out all diapers and all wipes and all panties and anything that could be worn on the bottom area of our toddler and then he takes him places and then our son poops and then there's a poop explosion and yes toddlers still get to poop explosions and our son just had a poop explosion at the park so I am bringing wipes and clothes and a diaper and all the things to the park right now <laughs> because Flynn wants to keep playing but he's got poop there's a poop situation happening so I need to go rescue and help so that's where I'm headed right now but there's a lot of traffic you should have just come home probably Probably, but oh well. Um, but I'll see you guys when we get home after the poop debacle, okay? My husband needs to learn to not take diapers and wipes out of the car. This is parenting 101. You always need diapers in the car, guys! Okay, I can hear Flynn screaming. Flynn screaming, I see you at home, mama! Crisis averted, poop has been cleaned, everything is good. Now the minivan smells like poo, but that's okay. We're gonna go home and have a great night. Crisis averted! And Flynn, <laughs> when you're done cleaning everything up, he goes, thank you for driving to the park, mama, and thank you for changing my diaper, dada, and thank you for bringing a diaper, mama. It was so cute. Anyway, oh gosh, I gotta go. <laughs> Go get it, Mills! Go get it, Mills! Go get it! Go! 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 You can do it! Go! 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 Go!
Moose and Goat. Moose. You can do yeah, it. Yeah, Moose and Goat. Yeah. Go, 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 go. I'm going to go sit with Colleen. Go, go. Moose and Goat. Have a song too? <coughs> garbage with trash all it. All that they hesitate. Did the garbage truck hesitate? Did the garbage truck? Yay! Woohoo! Hi, another garbage truck. Hi, another garbage truck. And bigger than you. I'm smaller than you, but I'm green. What's your favorite color? I'm orange, white, black, black. Black, white, white, black, black, and gray. Is that cool? That's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, dude. Oh, hi, guys. I'm a fire truck. See my ladder? I am so high. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I started setting up the table for the live stream for um, to raise money for childhood cancer this Sunday, December 5th uh, at 12 Pacific Standard Time. I'm doing a live stream on my main channel where we will all work together to raise money for kids with cancer. And I always give away prizes to people randomly who donate or who spread the word. So far, the, just the stuff that I have collected from downstairs that I'm gonna donate is like literally all of my merch, <laughs> all my old merch. My new merch is supposed to come, I'm supposed to get some tomorrow. And hopefully if I get a bunch of my new merch, Merch, I can give that away as well. We've got all, everything. I mean, the Miranda shirts, theater kits, just girly things, no sleep club, Miranda, theater kit, Daisy's not being given away, sorry. Just girly things, women are amazing, all these cool things. Got my books, and then Rosanna Pansino dropped these off today in this goodie box. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> Look at all this amazing Rosanna Pansino things. It's so nice. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Thank you, Rosanna. She never watched my video. Up. This is the belly cast I was going to do with the twins. I knew I would need two my tummy was so big. I didn't get to do it. I was like, well, maybe I'll make like a pregnancy kit. And so I started doing that. We got the new ear pods, fancy Polaroid camera. This is, seems random, but like, honestly, it's like one of my favorite products in the whole universe. I use it to blow dry my hair like every day. So I'm a fan. And then this, I thought I got an idea. I was like, what if I do like a Gen Z package as one of the prizes? Cause I've seen Gen Z kids taking these and being like, look how cool and trendy I am using a kid's camera and getting blurry, crappy pictures. I was like, what if I I'd get this and then bunch of stuff together and make like a funny like become a Gen Z or kit. So um, that was stuff I just threw together. More stuff I've ordered online is coming in the mail hopefully very soon. Hello camera. Okay, so let's go upstairs and see what else we can find. Oh my God, there's also been so much controversy about this tortilla, guys, by the way. Um, I was just looking for more stuff in my office to give away. I'm finding some things, but I think I'm gonna go through everything in the closet with Corey tomorrow. There's like tie-dye kits and like Miranda costumes and there's tons of stuff that I could give away. I just don't know what you guys want. And Corey told me that there's people who are like, don't give away the tortilla blanket, how dare you? And here's the thing, guys. I'm gonna get another tortilla blanket. I mean, I don't know. I don't want you guys to be upset, but like, I thought this would be a good gift because we've been through so much together on this vlog channel with this tortilla. I've cried so many tears on this tortilla. And so I thought it would be a, like a good gift to give away to someone who's like watched my vlogs religiously. And then I'll get a new tortilla or I can send you a new tortilla, whichever you decide if you win it. And you can either get sent this one or I can send you a new one. And then whenever I cry in my tortilla, you guys can cry in my tortilla too that I sent to you. So that's what I was thinking. I'm not gonna like get rid of it forever. It's like, if I get rid of this one, I'll just get a new one. You know what I'm saying? But I do think I wanna give it away, but not if you guys are gonna be mad about it, but I don't know what else to give away. I wanna get cool things. I bought an Apple Watch. I'm waiting for that to come. Oh, my boobs hurt. I need to pump. I gotta go. But did I film anything today? I don't know. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Um, I 
wanted to talk a little bit about my body and postpartum because I feel like after I had Flynn, I had way more time to talk about my body and the changes it was going through and the pains I was experiencing. So with Flynn, I had a vaginal delivery and I had a lot of stitches. It was very painful. It was my first time recovering from a birth, obviously, and my first time trying to breastfeed and going through all those pains and struggles. And it was hard. And I talked about it a lot, like what my body was doing in the recovery process. And this time around, I feel like I've been so focused on the babies and just crying about the babies that I haven't focused on my body at all. I think I showed you guys my stomach once. C-section recovery. My abdominal area is still in a lot of freaking pain, but the incision is good. Like the actual incision is fine. They use glue on my incision on the outside of it, but the internal has stitches. The exterior was like a glue. Now I put this on my incision. This is what I use. It's like a band-aid type thing. And it says it's a scar removal thing. My doctor actually told me to use this. So I put this on my uh, c-section scar but my muscles in my stomach area are very sore still like extremely sore and i'm noticing that my skin on my stomach area is much more sore there's just a lot of it like after i had flynn i thought i had a lot of like extra skin on my stomach but like now i'm like whoa girl and i don't know how elastic skin is like does it ever get not stretchy or is it just stay stretchy i don't really know but i'll show you guys at the end of my pregnancy i weighed 190 something i don't remember i stopped looking at the end of my pregnancy i was 180 something or 190 something i don't know i didn't look and i stopped looking after like for like the last month so i don't know but i know that i gained around 70 pounds 65 to 70 pounds and now i am i'm just under 150 so i've lost 20 to 30 of the pounds was like you know my tummy you know the babies came out placentas came out water came out whatever so like i guess that's i haven't been doing anything obviously i've just been stressing about my babies anyway the point is none of that matters who cares my body is badass because it made humans and it's now nurturing and feeding humans so that's pretty cool i have all my clothes from before i got pregnant and i think in my brain i was like i'll fit in those again but like i don't think that's gonna happen so <laughs> so i was like i'm just gonna start buying clothes that actually fit my body instead of like waiting for me to get to a certain point you know what i mean i just as a trial because i don't go into stores really i don't have time to i ordered some jeans some levi's and i don't really like them i think online they look better than they are here in front of my face but i don't know if these are gonna fit me okay let's see i thought they'd be higher waisted than this so i'm a little bit disappointed but i literally have not worn jeans i feel like five or six weeks into my pregnancy my pants didn't fit me anymore and then i had some maternity jeans but i barely and maybe wore them twice like i hate maternity jeans so i'm gonna see if these fit i'll actually let you see my body again because i feel like it's been a week or something since i showed my body so this line is still really dark and my whole stomach skin is dark like you can tell like this skin up here is really light that's like the color of my skin but because all the skin this is all stretched and now it's all collected together the pigment of my tummy is like darker than the rest of my body i don't understand how that works but like isn't that kind of cool and kind of crazy um i would like pull on my skin and show you how stretchy it is and how much skin i have but it literally hurts but you can see like how i can't really show you without hurting myself but the skin i could if i pulled it i could stretch it out pretty far it's like very stretchy skins i'm gonna try on these pants don't look they're stretchy which i appreciate oh my god my boots hurt so bad i need to hurry up okay Oh, it feels so weird to wear pants. <gasps> oh my God, they fit me. I don't know how comfortable it is to wear pants. They're like dig into the muscles that all hurt, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, look at me. I'm in pants. I'm in jeans. This feels so weird. I'm in jeans that don't have an elastic band that goes over my tummy. I mean, I don't know that I like these. Like I actually am confident I don't like them. It's the first time I've worn like jeans in a very long time. And I think it was a good thing to not like wait until I could fit into my pants to just go ahead and buy new stuff. And, ow, but it hurts. I don't think you're supposed to wear jeans after a C-section for a long time. Ooh, this area is sore. Okay, so I thought this was a good idea and it was actually a really bad idea. Ow, this whole section is like so uncomfy. Okay, so this was actually a horrible idea. Don't wear jeans after you have a C-section. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick to my leggings, my stretchy leggings and my sweatpants. I'll wear jeans someday, but who cares? Because my life is so chaotic right now, I just want something that makes me feel like normal. I feel like if I'm able to put on clothes that are normal clothes, I'll feel a little bit more normal. So that's what I was hoping for. But I guess it's just gonna be a while before I feel like a human again. So that's okay. I'm gonna take these pants off. Take off my pants. Actually, I'm gonna do it right now. Don't look. Oh my God, freaks. Oh my God. I'm not wearing any pants right now, guys. Gotcha. I took my pants off. 
Hello. Mid rise. Oh, I thought I bought high rise. I'm so stupid. All right, guys. Well, I think that's all she wrote tonight. Maybe if something else interesting happens tonight, I'll film it. But I don't think that's gonna happen. So I think I'm just gonna maybe take a bath and go to bed because I am exhausted. And tomorrow I'm gonna try to spend more time at the NICU. I'm trying to increase the amount of time I'm there every day. I can't wait to bring those babies home. The doctor said yesterday, or the nurse said yesterday, she thinks it'll be two more weeks. So two more weeks is the 15th of December. So I'm not supposed to get my hopes up. I'm not supposed to count down on dates because you never know what could happen at first i thought they'd be home by my birthday and then i was like then they'll be home by thanksgiving and that didn't happen i was like well they'll be home by december and that didn't happen and then now i'm like well they'll be home by fun's birthday and that's not gonna happen so now i'm just like they better be home by christmas <laughs> it's really hard not having them here i hate it so much but anyway i love them and i miss them and i'm gonna go dream about them and i hope you guys all are having a wonderful day and i will see you tomorrow tomorrow i love you tomorrow okay goodbye